everyone, and welcome to another exciting edition of Box Breaks with Bruce. We're opening up four tins of 1997-98 Don Russ Preferred Hockey Cards. Why are we opening this over something else? Um, well, we blew our hockey card budget on some additions for our goaltending museum, which are only one-third of the way here so far, so that's why we haven't had many episodes of the show recently, but uh, once those come in and we kind of equalize the budget, then uh, we'll start doing more box breaks again. So, these products all come in a collectible tin, and there is potential for some interesting cards, including the Color Guard insert set, which is numbered out of 1500, all of goalies, they sell pretty well to this day. There's also possibilities for uh, a platinum coated card, some of which go for some pretty huge dollars. Odds are low, but as Han Solo said, never tell me the odds. So, without further ado, my friends, let's get ready for box breaking. All right, so let's open up these tins first, just to see which collectible tins we got. And then from there, we will take care of what the hits are. And of course, the Herbe Bobblehead of Judgment is watching ever so intently. All right. So start off with the left one. We'll open up the plastic and we'll see which tin we have. Eric Lindros tin. Eric Lindros. All right. Next up we have Marty Broder tin. Followed by another Marty Broder tin. And then finally, which tin do we have? We have Yarmer Yogurt Tin. Yarmer Yogurt Tin. Okay. So, uh, let's start off with uh, our first Martin Broder Tin and see what we have within. Oh, and it's actually serial numbered as well. Good. Numbered 008 of 499. So, actually, all of these tins are serial numbered because apparently they're gold tins. So, that's something unique. They're actually special. So, they're all numbered out of 499. So the Broder is out of is 8 of 499, the Augur is 203 of 499, the other Broder is 3 of 499, and the Lindros is 94 of 499. So I didn't even know there was different tins. Okay, so we got a little hunk of old school foam, and then we have our cards within. So just by being serial numbered, these tins actually have some collectability. Let's see what's waiting for us in here, if there's anything of note, or if it's just the tin that is of any value. Okay, so we have Donner's Preferred Bronze of Rem Murray. Bronze of Andy Moog. National Treasures Bronze of John Van Beesbrook, not serial numbered. Joe Thornton. And Ron Hextall. Okay. So we'll go towards our Yager next. A little hunk of old school 24, 23 year old foam. And we'll get our card out. 203 of 499. Okay. So we have a Donner's Preferred Bronze rookie of. Vaclav Verada. We have a die cut, a die cut card. Cut to the chase of Jim Campbell. Rod Brindamore, bronze. Oli Jokinen, bronze. And Scott Lachance, bronze. Okay. So on to 10, number 3 of 499. Looks like we got a color guard in here. It's a very shiny card in the back here, but. Whose is it? We'll find out. All right. So we have Donner's Preferred Bronze of Byron Defoe. We have Danny Cleary. We have, oh, very nice. We have a color guard of Patrick Waugh. Why? Oh yes, of course. Haven't had Urbe in a video in a while. Right, his face is always the one that got it out of focus. So, color guard of Patrick Waugh. 
number 714 of 1500. Don't misunderestimate it, these still go for between 20 and 30 US dollars each nowadays, so that is pretty cool. Not bad for four, four little tins here. And then we have um, Damien Rhodes, and we have National Treasures Bronze with a nice bottom corner ding of Brett Hull. Alright, and then on to our final tin, number 94 of 499. Old school foam. Good. This one doesn't even want to open. It's a good sign. All right, what do we have? Okay, we have National Treasures Bronze of Marty Broder. National Treasures Bronze of Alexander Mogilny. Pat Verbeek. Sean Bates, rookie, and Mike Vernon. All right. Irve, what is your verdict on these four tins of Donruss Preferred Hockey? Yeah. Paid very little to get the four of them. They all happen to be the gold version of the tin, numbered out of 499, which is already a good start. And then on top of that, we got a color guard of Patrick Wall, which is a pretty good card by itself. I'm not complaining, especially right now when uh, we're box breaking on a budget until we solve our problem from buying so many things for the museum. Anyways, I'm glad you came by to watch another exciting episode of Box Breaks with Bruce. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We love every single one of you who follows us. And if you don't, we still love you, but maybe not as much. <laughs> Alright, until next time, my friends, have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.